Alrighty everybody, g'day and welcome back to part two of the original video. It is a sunny afternoon here in Australia and uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on the Land Rover again. So you may have heard in the first video there was a couple of weird noises coming from the engine. Like grinding noises. Um, and I ended up finding that was the water pump. So I have a later water pump off of a 202 here. This is a newer one. Um, and unfortunately, when I went to fit it up, the original pulley off the original engine wouldn't fit. And furthermore, after I got a second pulley off another 202 that we have, that wouldn't fit either on the original pump because the holes were all out of whack. So as you can see, I have eight holes in both of these now. So I have... The holes for the original pump that would have fitted on this uh, 179, which I believe probably come out of an EH Holden. Yeah, I end up drilling the holes. I drilled out four more at a new uh, at a new sort of a position in the water pump, and I drilled another four in this um, in this pulley here too. And that way, then we can bolt the original fan up without having to buy a new fan or having to bodge up the spacer. In the meantime though, ever since I did do the original video, I did have a sticky needle in the seat, so I bought a new one as you can see. Um, I'm still having problems with it sticking. This new one sticks after the car's been running for about a couple of seconds maybe, probably 30 seconds and it just sticks and the car shuts off. It's annoying, but uh, once I get fuel up and it's, it's up fully, it'll stay running, usually. Um, so yeah, I have got a new gasket cut and I'll get some gasket sealant, put it around that block there and also on the bottom of this water pump face and I will sit, sit it back on, get a battery and see if she wants to go without any noises. Cool. No, I did lift that gasket sealant set so we should be able to put this water pump back on. Just pull the rag out that's stopping anything nasty from getting in the engine. Now we get the water pump. Alright, we'll chuck it back on and uh, I'll do it all up. If I can get the buddy thing in there. Oh. Oops, spun the gasket. Come on. There we go. I think that's in there. Do it up with some bolts. There we go. Oh yeah, sweet. I've got the hole. Bloody pain in the ass to get in here, I've got to tell you that. If you bought over a second of extension. You got a bloody pain in the ass to get this on otherwise. Clamp it down tight and pop the fan back on. Just feel that lip where I put that mark in. I probably can't even see it now. Bloody hell. Oh, there it is. Oh, I did. Excellent. All right. I'll put a little mark on the pulley just to make sure we've got it all lined up and centered correctly. Just... That way that would make my life a whole lot easier trying to get this bloody fan back on. Put that rad hose in. Bloody water pump doesn't leak out the hose part because it has got a little bit of a, a corroded mark there, which I'm not very happy about. Should work though. I'm hoping that I don't have any problems. Ooh, I picked up the nail. Right. Oh. 
There we go. All right. Actually, we might do that up a bit more. Another couple of ugger duggers. Ugger dugger. That'll be good enough. That's talked up to the correct setting. All right. I'll get the fan on now. Alright, um, I managed to get the fan on. I know I didn't film it, but uh, it was a bloody hassle to get it in. The camera was in the way, so... Anyhow, um, that's... Put the bolts in. I'm just going to get my ratcheting spanner in there now and get them tightened up. I only bought these the other day, but I've got to tell you, these gear and ratcheting spinners... Bloody mint has. I really like them. They're very, very handy. Um, I know they're not the real deal, or not snapping or anything, but far out. You pay too much with snapping anyway. Oh, just gonna try and get bloody spin on the... Oh, yep, we seated. How the bloody hell is that? Perfect. Couldn't be any better. We've got the belt back on. Um, everything's back, done up back tight. And yeah, I don't know if I want to pull this thermostat housing off and just pull the thermostat out and fill the coolant level up to the thermostat so I don't have to bloody bleed the air out the system. That would be quite annoying, but um, I don't know. I'll figure that out. I reckon I will. You know, I know it's going to be a pain in the ass for me to do, but. Who cares? It's um, making my life easier and just makes me get this bloody thing going quicker. All right, I shall do that and I'll see so you. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this thermostat housing off. I renew both these gaskets cause uh, I've used them twice now and they're probably a bit old and tacky. And I will fill the, the water up to the thermostat housing so I don't have to get any air bubbles out or hopefully you don't have to get any air bubbles out. I will do what I usually do and just leave this uh, radiator open and have a bit of water nearby me in case I do need to fill it up. Um, but other than that, I reckon I shouldn't have to bleed all the air out of it if I do fill it up with the thermostat. I'll get back to you and uh, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, about getting it going, that was uh, no bueno. So I'm back here for day two, as last night, um, I got the shits and when I was filling it up, the corrosion in the water pump uh, blew out and a little pinhole appeared. And so, yeah, that was all hissing and uh, wouldn't hold coolant. So I riffed it off in my frustration and I have now got that fixed and sorted and it seems to be holding coolant. It's not hissing, which is good. The fix has worked. Alrighty. Moment of truth, and uh, I'll see if Murphy's Law doesn't come in this time. I've got it all full of coolant. Not coolant, this is water. There's a little bit of coolant in it, but um, I did get new gaskets on the thermostat housing, all sealed up with sealant. That seal worked pretty good. I'm not going to say much though, because no, my luck, it might probably leak again. And everything's tight in the water pump area. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we have some luck. Um, so I'll pop the battery in and we'll see if she goes. All right, I'll get back to you.
sounds a bit funny, it's a bit different, but maybe that's a good thing. How good is that? It is moving and it seems to be all right. Um, as you may have saw in the video, I got a bit of wheel spin and that's because the front brakes were still pretty solid. Um, but the rear wheels seem to be pretty freed up. Um, nonetheless, drives are right. Um, I didn't really get it very hot when I was driving it though. So yeah, but how good is that? It does drive. Um, does need a little bit of work. <laughs> But uh, nonetheless, I'm very happy with that. All right, I guess that'll be the end of uh, part two. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.